Hey everyone, my name is John and I'm a network automation enthusiast as well as a trainer for CBT Nuggets. So if you're just beginning your network automation journey, it can feel a little bit daunting to say the least. So what I want to talk to you about today is a question which I receive fairly regularly on Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, and that relates to two very similar but also very different automation solutions for your network. So what I thought I would do would be to dive into some of the benefits, features and drawbacks of both to help you decide how you might want to begin your network automation journey. Okay, so the two automation solutions which I want to talk to you about today are Ansible and Nornier. But what actually are they? Now Ansible is a network automation configuration tool and it's often billed as the entry point for network automation. And the reason for that is simple, as in literally simple. Ansible is simple by design and it's supposed to be easy to use out of the box. This is its big attraction. Now Ansible has the concept of a playbook and you can think of a playbook as a little file with a bunch of instructions and within these instructions you detail your network configuration. So say you want to push out a loopback configuration or an NTP server configuration you're going to specify that within your playbook. Ansible's playbooks are written in a domain-specific language called YAML. Nornir, on the other hand, is very similar to Ansible in that you would use Nornir for the same reasons you would use Ansible, that is configuration management. But the key distinction here is that Nornir has the concept of a runbook, and these runbooks are written in Python. So what are some of the benefits and drawbacks of both? Well, first, let's look at Ansible. So the first big benefit of using Ansible is the fact that it does use YAML and YAML is very human readable. In fact, most people, even with little to no coding experience, can probably eyeball an Ansible playbook and get a good sense of what it's trying to do. So if you're new to network automation or you lead a team of network engineers who don't have much programming experience, Ansible's simple and readable solutions could be a very good starting point for you. The second reason to use Ansible is that Ansible is the most popular network configuration tool on the market. Therefore, a lot of people are using it. Therefore, it has a lot of community support. So if you're having a problem trying to find a solution, there's a fair good chance you can go onto a forum or a Slack channel or a Reddit page and find someone to give you good advice or perhaps even a template or the exact playbook you need to solve your problem. The third reason to learn Ansible is that Ansible's popularity translates to market value. Simply put, Ansible is everywhere. So if you start a job and your employer is implementing network automation, there's a high chance that Ansible is going to be part of that solution. So it's a really good idea for you to have familiarity with the tool so that you can excel in your job. You can kind of imagine Ansible as kind of like the CCNA for network automation. You're going to see it in job listings everywhere and everyone knows it. Okay, so all of this seems pretty great. So why should you bother learning another network automation solution? Well, first, let's look at Nornir. Now, the first reason to learn Nornir is that Nornir as a pure Python-based automation solution is a lot more flexible than Ansible. Now, what typically happens is, is that Ansible works pretty great in the beginning, but once you begin to need a little bit more complexity, a little bit more sophisticated logic, trying to code that logic in YAML becomes a little bit of a nightmare. And the analogy I like to use is that trying to code in YAML is like trying to do gymnastics in a suit of armour. It's just not designed for it. Now, Nornir, on the other hand, being Python-based, has full access to the entire Python ecosystem. And what tends to happen is that these nightmare scenarios in Ansible can be solved pretty easy and elegantly by using just a few lines of Python code. With Nornir, you're going to be able to automate a lot more things. Now, the second reason to learn Nornir is that Nornir has much better performance than Ansible. It's just way faster. Now, if you're automating on the scale of maybe 10 devices, then honestly, the speed differential is going to be pretty negligible. But as you scale up, the effect just becomes exponential. So that if you're automating on the scale of maybe 500 devices, implementing a Nornir solution could cut your execution time by half. And as you scale up again to maybe 10,000 devices, Nornir's speed advantage just becomes more and more apparent. Now, the third reason to learn Nornir is that Nornir has much better debugging capabilities than Ansible. This is huge. What tends to happen is that when your playbook goes wrong with Ansible, you may have a very difficult time trying to track down exactly what went wrong. Now, Nornir being Python-based is very explicit in its handling of errors, and you're going to have a much easier time trying to find those bugs. 
Now the fourth reason to learn Nornir is probably the biggest one, and that is by learning Nornir you're simply learning Python, which is a much more beneficial, transferable and valuable skill to learn rather than just simply working with a domain specific language such as YAML. So if you're thinking long term, learning Nornir will be very good for your skill set and your career. So to recap, if you're completely new to network automation then using Ansible is going to be a great starting point for you. It requires no Python knowledge and you can just dive right in. Just be aware that though, should your solution require a little bit more advanced logic, then trying to code that logic within YAML can become pretty cumbersome and pretty confusing pretty quickly. Now Nornir on the other hand can very often solve these problems very easily and elegantly as it has access to all of Python's libraries and features. Just be aware of that though, learning Nornir does require a little bit of a steeper learning curve. So if you're asking me what I would choose if I could only pick one, then I would choose Nornir due to its outstanding flexibility and performance. But ultimately both are great tools and I honestly believe that you will increase both your skill set as well as your job prospects by learning both. So if you found this content useful, helpful or interesting, then hit that like button, subscribe and let us know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you soon.